So, Jared, how's it feel to, to begin your uh, your coaching career? Uh, it feels great just to be able to get everything started. And I've always had these uh, aspirations to, uh, you know, jump into recruiting and potentially jump into coaching one day. So, you know, just being able to start that after my, my playing career here is uh, it's a big blessing. And thank you to Avalos and the staff. Yeah. Do you feel like the last couple of years you've been doing a lot of coaching as a player too? Maybe the injury bug kind of hit yeah. you. I mean, was that, were you kind of – uh, helping out and stuff from afar. Yeah, that's the only thing I really could do, and you know it's unfortunate. You know, just had, caught the injury bug, and you know it's out of my control. And you know, just making sure I was you know still involved and in, in helping the other teammates as best as possible, and you know just doing that is, uh, is the only really the only thing that I could do, and it just it made it easier for my transition to recruiting. How tough was that for you? You come here with high yeah. hopes, wanting to you know play for Boise State and have a chance to you know, do big things, and then that you don't get much of a chance in those two years to show that. Yeah, uh, you know, again, it's you know out of my control, and you know, the only, really, the only thing I could do was just keep my head down and uh, you know keep grinding and keep working, and you know, like you know, ha had my first injury, and you know, just to come back and and uh, get re-injured was tough, but again, the only thing you could do is just keep pushing forward, and you know. I've always had those aspirations of, you know, football, football goals and, you know, goals outside of football and you doing recruiting and uh, being able to establish relationships and build relationships with other players and people. So, you know, it was something that made it easier and just having those those dreams. What sparked those aspirations to get into coaching? Uh, you know, I have my, uh, just my dad, you know, I've always, I grew up in a football family. You know, my dad played in the NFL for a little bit and, uh, you know, I've just always had those dreams of, you know, wanting to make it to the NFL, but if not, you know, outside of football, wanting to, be able to be part of an organization or part of a, 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 a collegiate organization, you know, just being able to to help out and uh, and do recruiting. And so, yeah, big thank you to my dad. You know, he always, he's taught me everything that I know. So did he coach <laughs> yeah. as well? Yeah, so he, he did coaching, you know, just at the, he, he, he coached me through youth football and uh, he also coached at the high school level with my brother and stuff. Where so. did he play college ball in the NFL, your dad? Yeah, so he played at University of Oregon and uh, he also, uh, he played. He got drafted by the Seattle Seahawks, and uh, then he played for a little bit for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. What's his first name? Daryl Reed or Daryl. So yeah. What's your uh, official like title and yeah. role in the recruiting office? Yeah. So I'm a graduate assistant of uh, recruiting, and so I'm working up there with Kyle and with Coop, and uh, you know, so just being able to work with those two, you know, it's a big blessing. They have great experience, and they're they're able to you know just uh, teach me everything you know, that they know, and just kind of guide me along and carry carry me along with them, and. Uh, you know, so I'm getting my master's program down right now, and uh, I should be done this spring. How different is recruiting now with the transfer portal and everything? Yeah. When you were in high school or before that, and now with the no sit out rule and all that. Uh, I mean, yeah. just what, what, what's it like being part of the recruiting staff? Yeah, it's definitely more complex, you know, so there's just a plethora of players and, you know, more players. But, you know, the biggest thing for us is just finding players that can, you know, that fit our culture and fit, fit uh, you know, our organization, you know, in the best way possible. And just sticking to those standards is what we need to do. So what does the recruiting staff have you doing right now? Are you just yeah. tagging film? Or? Yeah, so there's a plethora of things that I'm doing. So I'm, you know, tagging film and, you know, also just, you know, so, uh, assisting with, you know, the visits and, uh, you know, just uh, junior days and everything like that. And, you know, just as we go along, you know, my role's expanding and just being able to, to handle more things. And uh, so, yeah. You know, recruiting's not obviously an easy job. It's not – some coaches have to hate having to do it. Yeah. Um, what do you think about your personality and this passion it feels like you have for recruiting? Mm -hmm. Where does that come from? And I mean, are you expecting to be a, a really good recruiter in this business? Yeah. Um, you know, I'm just a people person. I'm very outgoing. So just being able to, uh, again, you know, I love uh, establishing and building relationships with people. So, you know, I feel like it's easy for me to just be able to relate with, with others and relate with the, with the recruits and, you know, just having that experience, you know, playing at, at this level, you know, just being able to, you know, just kind of tell them about this place and, you know, what it's really truly about. But again, this place speaks for itself and, you know, just the history here. So, uh, you know, I feel like just with that experience, it allows for me to be, you know, to be a good recruiter. And, you know, I'm not there yet or where I want to be yet, but, you know, I'm just looking at consistently elevating and growing. Outside of, you know, stats, size, grades, what are some of the, the qualities that make the ideal recruit that Boise State looks for? Uh, you know, so I get, you know, grades are a big thing, you know, but, you know, just being able to uh, uh, be driven, you know, and just have that work ethic and um, just being able to time manage and everything. So, like, you know, grades are obviously a big thing, you know, and, and just like that, you know, football IQ, you know, if they can come in and, you know, fit into our system and and uh, be able to have that knowledge or be able to be coachable and uh, have a strong work ethic, you know, it's, it goes a long way. Have you had a chance to go on the road yet, do any home visits, anything like that? No, not yet, just strictly, you know, in-house and uh, – 
working in here, yeah. What's the transfer portal like? The, what type of attention does the recruiting office, I mean, you guys constantly hitting refresh, and if a guy comes in, you make a call with coaches or connections you have. How do you guys attack the portal here? Yeah, so, you know, it's, I, I think it's pretty uh, – it's pretty even, you know, we look at, you know, the high school recruits as well as the portal, you know, we want someone that can come in and, you know, be here, for, you know, for a few years and, and grow within our program and, uh, you know, that we can, that we can work with, you know, so, uh, I mean, we do, we do look at the portal. We'd also look at, you know, high school recruits, but, you know, just again, you know, finding those players overall that can, you know, fit our needs and, you know, fit into the culture is the biggest thing. So 